without further ado, I think we should get into the, the opening credits of this game. So I've seen all of that, but I haven't seen this. November 5th, 2038. 3.24 p.m. This is all new to me. This is cool. Hmm. This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. 200 languages and diets. And handles the kids' home care. Elementary school up to university level. Honey, it looks amazing. So we're in a cyber life store. This is so trippy. Look at that packaging. That's the box. That's the blister pack. Does anybody here collect uh, action figures? Interest free credit. And it comes with a two-year warranty. It's the, the package that you come in. Around the house, painting, plumbing, gardening, repairs. Look at the, night, the extra parts on the wall. Wow. Cool. Wow. That's Contacts, cool. emergency services. This guy. The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. So they got Android selling Android. How do you get a pre-owned one here? Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck. There it is. Guy. Thanks, Lara and Croft, for your continuing cheering. really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> a car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, uh, see. Anyway, Dog. it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it. Meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. Oh, it gives me chills. My name is Kara. Kara, played by Valerie Curry. She's incredible in this, and uh, she started this all like eight years ago with the, the Kara Tech demo. Brian, you're oh, incredible. In this I know that playing. guy. Uh, thanks, Ron. You're incredible too. It's my job to. I'm basically <laughs> just here to flatter him. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's all genuine. I'm, he's amazing in this. We got Lance Hendrickson. Clancy Brown is with us on this. It just looks so beautiful. Like this is. This is the Joe Louis fist. It's in downtown Detroit. We took a tour of. Uh, Detroit and saw a lot of these locations. Amelia, do you want to introduce yourself for those who have joined us late? Yes, um, I am Amelia Rose Blair, and I am so excited to be on this stream today. Um, you want to I'm, tell them what you're doing with this game? Well, um, I got to play four different characters in this game. I play the Tracys. If you have not met them, you shall meet them soon. Um, <laughs> and I'm also Brian's fiance, so we're getting sure. married. We're gonna play through together. We can take turns if you want to play something too. Really? Yeah, if you want. It's up to you. Yeah, yeah. Man, look at this. It's so beautiful. There's a huge team at Quantic Dream that put together this game. There's over 200 people that work there. Here's our composers. There's one composer for each of the main characters. Thank you, David Cage. Amelia, can you make sure to go close to the mic when you talk? Oh, yes. It looks yes. like, yeah, you're getting a little soft because you're far from it. Mm -hmm. Here we are. This is Marcus, played by Jesse Williams. There's androids everywhere. God, this is so beautiful. Thank you to all 2,300 people watching. It's awesome. 2,300 people? Oh, this thing has our programming. We can't go over there. 2,300 people? Thank you all for being here. This is insane. You have run 12 miles and are five miles away from your goal. 
If you're like an android for a personal trainer, it'd be hard to keep up with an android. So Cyberlife has got ads all over the place. You see the charging stations mm -hmm. there? Like a bus stop for androids. Brian, can you make sure to speak up a little bit? You yeah. Can we raise the uh, yeah, mic audio a little, a little bit? I'll raise it up a bit, too. Cool. So something that's really cool and I think underutilized in this game is the R1 button where you can switch these camera angles. So aside from being like the co-writer of this, you're also the co-cinematographer and the hey, co-director. You're scaring away my customers. Hey Cyborg Angel, thanks for joining us. Yo, what's up Cyborg Angel? Shout out to you. I've been watching Cyborg uh, play through some pieces of this game on Twitch. I want to see. Mm. This is Arnold Brook. Who's this guy? So there's a bunch of stuff in the environment we can check out. Should we go right to the paint store and do what we're supposed to do, or should we explore a little bit? Let's explore. I mean, you can explore a little bit. We have to turn our backs on sin. We have to burn the androids. Let us burn them all. Let us not Why burn them all. Why do you so, demon? I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Poor uh, sinners. Uh, I don't plan on the destroying is Detroit. Nigh. Retribution is at hand. What else is around? No one ever plans, but... Look at this. So cool. There are brand names everywhere. I want to get Ditch of Groceries. Is this a movie theater? <laughs> what movie is that? The Target. Target. So they, their their sci-fi movies take place in 3021. <laughs> huh. I mean... I don't need much, just, just enough for a cup of coffee. Can help you, man. All right, let's see here. This is the paint store. Wow. <sighs> oh man. That's pretty. This is beautiful. Should connect. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Oh man, he's you know, like the least artistic guy I've ever met working at the art <laughs> store. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. That'd be crazy to just be able to, to pay by pay. blinking. I don't think we're that far away. What Not do you guys yet. think about in the chat? Are we, I mean, we've got Google Pay and Apple Pay and this is so cool. So colorful. Ooh, that'd be a fun place to play. <laughs> yeah, this whole game is so beautiful. Simple gazer. Should we get back to work? Let's go. We got it. Now it's telling us to go to the bus stop. Look at the drone in the background delivering stuff. This is a cool kind of opening chapter because I feel like it gives you a good sense of the world, right? I mean, yeah. give an A to the writing here. It's, uh, it's 
a cool choice. A lot of homeless people. Yeah, what's really cool about this to me is that so much of the storytelling is done by the environment that you're in. So the more you explore, the more you... Oh man, these are the AP 700. I recognize that guy. Should we go over there? I feel like they don't want us to go over there. This is the bus stop. It. This is where we're supposed to go. I can't knock over there. Look at the skyline. Okay. Beautiful. I gotta go check it out. Yeah. Where are you going to stay? I don't know. I'm just going to see what this guy's got going on. Yeah. I'm not taking your place. Where the fuck you going, Tin Can? Hmm? I'm kidding. Hey, guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. He's stand up. Am I going to have to fight this guy right now? No, I bet it's not in your program. Yeah, I'm not going to. We're going to fuck your bitch ass up. I'm not looking for trouble, man. I was just checking it out. All right. It's enough. Leave it alone. Thank you, officer. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Wow, damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. This looks like we're watching a movie. Mm -hmm. This is cool. You can take your job next. Let's see how you like it. Okay. What do you Let's think go. that guy did before he lost his job? That guy? He was probably a delivery guy mm -hmm. going around picking up paints. I know this is a weird detail, but the facial hair and like just the hair in general is so detailed, like the little bits on the back of the head. Did they scan that? Do you know? They scanned all, I mean, Everything. they yeah. scanned us. If you've, <laughs> if you've ever wondered how they get a 3D model in, they're using the uh, technology like they use on archaeological digs uh, before they move anything that's broken. They, they scan the whole environment to see the different pieces of the vase so they can put it back together at the museum. And they use the same technology to make a 3D print of our uh, the textures so you're basically a model wrapped in a texture of you and then they assign these points to your uh, 86 markers on the face and all of the markers on your joints and um, then of course you're like you're like puppeteering your your digital self it's very cool Marcus had two different color eyes. He's got two green eyes. Hey, it's a CyberLife bus. It's a CyberLife bus. They picked us up in a CyberLife bus at the premiere event, which was really cool. Yeah, I've got a little... Can you show that? Yeah, I can. Uh, that's right there is a little picture of the back of the CyberLife bus that uh, Brian was and riding said, around uh, Yeah, it said Android transportation on it. So shades of color. So there's other stuff we could have looked at in the environment. Whew. Cool. Let's keep going. 